Guys, we're gonna be doing our first gear video today. We're gonna to cover the sleeping system here. I've got some products that were sent to me by two different companies, Outdoorsman Labs and Trekology. Thank both of you guys, very awesome. Love your products. And this is gonna be about basically the budget sleeping system. You can get a lot of this for basically under 100 bucks, right around $75, and you'll be ready to go backpacking. The first thing we're gonna talk about, of course, is gonna be the sleeping bag. And then when we're done talking about the products, we're just gonna open them up real quick and show you what it's like. The sleeping bag is 30 bucks with free prime shipping and it weighs 2.9 pounds. That's awesome for a lightweight sleeping bag. This actually weighs less than my $400 Sierra Designs bag. I was able to take this and use this over these uh, winter in temperatures that were in the 20s and 30s and it kept me just as warm as the Sierra Designs bag. Again, all the prices, weights, and specifics are going to be in the comments below. So if you have any questions about the weight, I might miss an ounce here or there, check below in the comments and in the description. So Outdoorsman Lab bag, really great, does keep up with bags that are three, uh, 10, 15 times its price almost and does a really good job of it. Kept me warm and down to about uh, the high 20s. I was uh, nice and toasty. Not toasty, but I was warm. Next thing is gonna be an Outdoorsman Lab sleeping pad. It's got an R value of 1.3 and you could pick this bad boy up for 45 bucks. I had at one point a Big Agnes sleeping pad, the new Deluxe Q-Core, I think it's called, whatever their new pad is, and feeling these side by side, they felt identical. They felt identical, and one pad was close to $200, and this one here you can pick up for 45 bucks. Again, it's got an R value of 1.3. Perfect combination. You can get both this bag and a sleeping pad for 75 bucks. Now you're sleeping. That's pretty good. Now, I've got some pillows here too as well. These are from Trekology. Thank you, Sherman, for sending me these pillows, as well as thank you, Outdoorsman Labs, for the great gear. Uh, this is the, probably the pillow I'm going to be using. It's about $15. It compares to some of the Sea to Summit gear. You just inflate it, blow it up, and it weighs, I believe, under 10 ounces. Again, check the description for the exact weights and prices. Really, really nice pillow. They also make more of the neck, like a neck pillow. Same kind of technology. And then it comes with, comes in a little tiny bag. So really easy pillow for 15 bucks. You've got your whole sleeping system for $100 there. That's pretty awesome. You could also opt for Trekology's bigger self-inflating pillow. Pull the tab at the end. Hear it? It sucks in air. And so watch this. Over, over the next minute here, it's going to open up and I'll talk about this right here. This is some insulation I got. In the description below, you can see that it's about a $16 roll. You'll be able to make some other things with this. I cut this to the length of my sleeping pad. A lot of expert backpackers and campers use a roll of this because it adds a whole nother R value and it puts a little layer of comfort between you and the ground when you're laying your inflatable on the ground. So it adds a whole nother extra layer of R value. I'll probably be taking this on some of the mountain trips, but between the Outdoorsman Lab pad and the $16 insulation here, I'm at about 2.3 R value, which is not too bad. That's a lot of people go camping in the winter with a 2.3 R value. Uh, I wanna be right around four this year, so I'm actually gonna even add maybe a, a, a Thermarest a foldable sleeping pad into it for some winter camping. But for now, this has me completely covered. You can also see the pillow is filled up. This is much, much comfortable. Very nice. I like it a lot. It's very soft. $12.99. Um, I've had a chance to use the sleeping bag and the sleeping pad three times this year for, like I said, sleeping out in the winter, trying to see like how cold I can get it, and the pillow as well. And I really enjoyed everything, no problems whatsoever. Let's go ahead and open up the sleeping bag and see what it looks like. Okay, so my only complaint with this bag for $30 with free shipping that competes with $100 bags is just some of the seams could be a little bit tougher. Maybe they could be double stitched. Just be easy on it when you're using it and you're not gonna have any problems. Comes with its own stuff sack. Mind you, it's not waterproof, so if you want waterproof, you're gonna have to get waterproof. Bag comes out really easy. Stuff's back in, super simple. The bottom of the bag has some straps so you can easily put your pads under it. And then the bag itself, very comfortable. The front, the headpiece here actually opens up via Velcro. Via Velcro, is that how I should have said that? And then you could just take your pillow here, stuff it inside, and you're good to go. Really comfortable. Really nice. Also has a drawstring, drawstring 
around the front so you can snug this up really nice. And then it's even got a little bag, so if you wanted to put something inside of here, you could actually have a little tiny pouch. And the zipper, you know, I'm going to tell you the truth. It's a $30 bag, so definitely get your expectations in line. Is it going to blow all the other bags out of the water that are 70 80 bucks? No, if you got 70 80 bucks for a bag, those are definitely going to do a better job. I compared this to a Teton sports bag for around 80 bucks, and the Teton was much nicer. But it also was more than twice the price, and the Teton had more fluff around the feet. The feet down here you can actually also unzip as well, so you can stick your feet out. I love features like that. It's freaking amazing this guy was able to make this happen and ship it to you for 30 bucks. You combine that with one of these Trekology pillows and you're gonna be sleeping very, very, very comfortably. So I definitely recommend all these products here. Again, they were sent to me for free of charge. I did not pay for any of these things. We're gonna do one last test here. This bag advertises that it has some level of water resistance on it. We have a Pilsner glass here full of water. Pretty good job, pretty good job. Um, I don't think it's soaking, no it's not soaking through. If you can see this, look at this, wonderful. Look at that. Yeah, this is a really good job. Really, this is not what I was expecting. Great job, Outdoorsman Labs. Uh, the Teton that was $80 started leaking at that point. Really good, look at that, yeah. You're not going to get wet in this thing unless you get a torrential downpour. Look at the water beating off of it. Oh, this is such a great bag for 30 bucks. Highly recommended. Okay, let's show you the uh, sleeping pad real quick. I fold mine up kind of funny. It's not the right way to do it, but that's how I do it. It goes together really quick, and I've had all of the major sleeping pads. I bought all the ones at REI. I bought a couple of them that were $179, the fancy thermarest where you blow it in, the other fancy thermarest where you don't blow in it. Big Agnes pads, Q cores, Deluxe cores. Uh, I think I spent about $500 on pads, just kind of like buying them and taking them back, just kind of testing them out. This thing holds up to the best quality stuff that you can find. Watch how fast we're gonna blow this up. Let's blow it up. done. All the other super expensive pads, they took way longer to blow up. This is very, very, very comfy. I like it a lot. I actually prefer these kind of rivets as opposed to the big tubes like in the Big Agnes. This feels like it would fit a hammock better. I really like it. And this is only $45 and weighs like 14 ounces. Man, both of these for 75 bucks with the pillow from Trekology, you're looking at $100. So. Again, guys, um, I'm known for being on my channel, giving kind of honest reviews. The only reason that I have actually said good stuff about this is because I spent three nights in the bitter cold with this. We just got done pouring water on it, and it didn't leak. And this pad is just as good uh, as some of the ones that I've been using that were, you know, uh, close to 200 bucks. That blows my mind. And this material here, it uses the, like, 20D nylon ripstop fabric. Really feels good. When I was holding it next to this $179 Big Agnes pad and just scratching at it, the material felt pretty much identical. So you can really purchase these and have some confidence in your pad. The pillows, let's take everything apart and show you how it like kind of pops out. Pillow folds up real easy. See? Down to nothing. And we can just stuff it in our bag. And then the bag itself actually stuffs away pretty easy too. A lot of these bags, they don't... I will say the Teton Sports, man, you had to shove it back in that bag. It was hard. See, again, Outdoorsman Lab. Trekology. Good stuff. So I'm hoping to start doing some trips within the next couple months here. Not couple months, couple weeks. And we'll be putting some of this stuff to the ultimate test. Again, I was saying just a minute ago, this be, have your expectations in line. This is a $30 bag. You're gonna find a couple hairs here or there that might be a little 
not sewn up as good as they can be. You know, treat it like it's a $30 bag. Be, be, be gentle with it and your gear will last you at least all season. And let's say, even worst case scenario, let's say it doesn't. Let's say it doesn't make it a whole season. It's a $30 bag for free shipping that competes with high-end gear. Worth it to me. Look at this, see, it goes together real quick. And you just grab the straps, cinch her down. And you're good to go. All right, I wanna call this stuff Hyperlite. It's not called Hyperlite. I always forget what it's called. Again, I'll have it linked in the description below, but then the pad would just go on that. And then I wanna show you just a couple things here. I'm basically done with the sleep video. Just because Trekology sent me these really nice products. I really like them. Great for camping, great for a picnic. Folding, foldable tables. They have a canvas table here. And then they also have a really sweet and pimp metal uh, kind of copper looking table. And man, look at how fast these things come apart. Watch this. And you just take this. Look at that. Super easy. Super easy. Roll it up. Ready to go. All right, you guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I would like to urge anybody that hasn't seen my channel before to check out some of my hiking and backpacking videos. You might really find something you like there. And definitely do recommend the gear that we've talked about here. If you have any questions whatsoever about weights, pricing, everything, all the de details are gonna be in the description as well as the comments below. And if you have any questions whatsoever, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't followed me on Facebook or Twitter, please follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I'm starting to get a little bit more active on Facebook and there's going to be some exclusive content not going on YouTube that will show up on Facebook. So please follow me on Facebook and you might see some new live streams, videos, stuff like that. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you later.